Hi everyone, it's Shannon and welcome to my channel, The Daily DIYer. Today I have some really great farmhouse style Valentine's Day decor I want to share with you that you can DIY on a budget. But before we get started, I do want to thank Acorn TV for sponsoring today's video. Acorn TV is home to sophisticated and artful storytelling rooted in British television. Their extensive library includes hard to find gems, timeless classics, and newly discovered favorites from Britain, Ireland, Australia, and beyond. So you guys know this is one of my favorite ways to stream different content than the usual that you see on everyday streaming services. On Acorn TV, you'll find tons of comedies, documentaries, originals, and thousands of hours of exclusive content, and it's all commercial free. The documentaries are definitely my most favorite thing to watch on Acorn TV. I've been watching this series called Victorian Farm, and it basically documents several people who join a farm, and they learn to farm in the Victorian way back from the 1800s. It's pretty cool because they actually wear the period style clothing, they learn the crafts and skills of the time period, and they do it for an entire calendar year. So I usually turn those on here in the she shed as I'm working. You can see I have it on my TV behind me, and I use a Roku, but you can also stream it from an Amazon Fire TV, Google Comcast, you can stream it from Apple and Android devices. Another show I would recommend is called Mystery Road. Two-time Oscar nominee Judy Davis and award-winning actor Aaron Pedersen star in Acorn TV original drama Mystery Road, set in the Australian outback. When two boys go missing from a cattle station, Detective Jay Swan Pedersen teams up with local cop Emma James Davis to investigate but solving the mystery could expose other crimes that haunt the remote town. So normally, Acorn TV is only $5.99 a month, so incredibly affordable, but you can use my coupon code, The Daily DIYer, and get 30 days of your first month free. Escape to Britain and beyond without leaving your seat. Try Acorn TV today free for 30 days by going to acorn.tv and using my code, The Daily DIYer. Now let's go ahead and jump right into these farmhouse style Valentine's Day DIYs. First up is this beaded love sign. I love the look of wooden beads, so this is a little bit different take on that concept. We're starting with a wood cut out from Hobby Lobby, which I got on sale, and also some of these half cut in half sized wood beads and I'll link those down in the description box below you can find those on Amazon and all I'm doing is taking my hot glue and attaching those half beads all the way around the perimeter of this love sign now I did have to kind of come back in and pop a few off here and there because they don't fit on perfectly so you kind of have to adjust as you go along and kind of make them work and um, fit into those spaces. But in the end, once you get it completely covered, it's a really pretty farmhouse look. Next up, we're gonna create this really simple and easy heart uh, wall pocket using a heart plaque from Hobby Lobby. It was only $1.99. And to get that neutral farmhouse look, I'm starting with some traditional burnt umber acrylic paint, which I actually also found at Hobby Lobby as well. It's by the brand Americana, and it will give your wood pieces a really pretty wood stained look without having to wait for a wood stain to dry. So I just went around the entire heart and let the paint dry. To create the fabric pocket on the front, I had some of this muslin fabric on hand, so I cut a section out that didn't have a bunch of wrinkles on it, and I am laying the plaque on top of it, um, kind of upside down because there is a border around the outside of the heart, and I needed the inside of the smaller heart as a template. So I flipped it upside down, took my pencil, and went around that shape, and cut it out. 
And then to attach the fabric onto the front, I used some hot glue. I also had to do a little bit of trimming to make sure it would fit evenly. So I started with one side and then went up the other side with my hot glue. Um, once that had a second to dry, then I came in with some jute and added that to the back to create a hanger. I am just using my hot glue on the back to attach the ends there. And then I also flipped it over and you can add whatever you want to the pocket. I added some sprigs of boxwood and I also had a little extra. So I flipped that down to kind of create a folded effect on the front. I had always wanted to make some of these miniature rolling pins. So we're starting with some Valentine's Day ones to start my collection. These you can find at Hobby Lobby for only $3.99 for a set of three. So they're only just about a dollar, a little over a dollar each. And each one of these is going to get a little bit different of a look. The first one, I had some scrapbook paper from another project and I'm using a combination of glue dots and some stick glue. Uh, to wrap the wrapping or the scrapbook paper around the center of the rolling pin. To add a little bit more of an embellishment, I'm just wrapping around some thin jute and tied a little bow. This next one is going to get a little bit more of a neutral look. I'm using my traditional burnt umber acrylic paint again for the center. I decided I also wanted to get the sides of the rolling pin, so I threw on some painter's tape to cover up the handles and made sure to completely cover those sides. For this one, I'm using a white chalk marker, which I'll link down in the description box below. I love these. These work great and they have really great colors too. And I'm just writing XO on this one. What I like is that I actually could flip this over and write something else on the other side. Maybe something a little more neutral that isn't for a holiday or season, one that I could use year round. Next, I wrapped the side in some red and white Banker's twine, which I will link down in the description box below, and then just tied a simple knot. The third one, I really wanted this one to look very Valentine's Day, but still have that farmhouse and rustic look. So again, I'm using my painter's tape to tape off the handles, and then the center I painted with my flamenco red acrylic paint by the brand Apple Barrel. This one, I wrote the word love on the red paint with my white chalk marker. I think what I'm gonna do is actually flip this over to the other side and write USA on it. That way I can pull it back out and use it again this summer for my 4th of July decor. And then to keep with the theme, this one I'm wrapping in black and white Baker's twine, which I'll link down in the description box below as well. I can't wait to use these on my Valentine's Day tiered tray display. Give this video a thumbs up too if you love decorating your tiered trays. It's definitely one of my very favorite things to do for every holiday and season. I had seen so many cute Valentine's Day tic-tac-toe boards that when I found this one at Hobby Lobby for only $3.99, I knew it would be fun to try to recreate my own version of it. So the first thing I did was take some black paint. There was already some cross lines uh, wood burned into the back panel. So I just took my paint and traced those lines with my paintbrush.
Then for the X's and O's, I decided to paint the O's with a light gray paint and the X's with a light pink paint. I wish I would have had a small wooden heart that would have fit the center square here, but unfortunately I did not, so I improvised with some red felt instead. I cut a square the same size as that middle square out of the felt and then cut a heart shape out of it so that it would fit within that center square. And then I used some foam um, adhesive on the back to sort of raise it up so it wasn't flat against the wood. The wooden shapes kind of have that dimension to them, so I didn't want the heart to be flat. I also wanted it to have some dimension too. And then I just attached my X's and O's to the squares using my hot glue. I would love to hear which one of these four projects was your favorite. You can leave those down in the comment section below. Please subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll have more Valentine's Day inspiration popping up on your screen that you can check out next. Thank you so much for watching today, and I will see you in the next one. Have a creative day.